I might regret it. So this is my packing area. Welcome to my stock room. Another little secret product. I'm hoping that there is going to be the target market out there. It feels super Christmassy. I'm just taking some more product photos. We're getting there. We are getting there. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. This style of video is a little bit different for me so I feel like a few of you may be new around here for this one. My name is Hannah, this is my very first studio vlog because I started my small business around seven weeks ago now. Beginning of September I launched my business Sunnyside. I sell pet accessories such as harnesses, collars, leads, poo bag holders, bow ties, rope leads and plenty more to come. I'm very excited about it. The CEO of the company is behind me here. This is my little cabapoo Sunny. She's a year old. This vlog is basically going to be exactly what I get up to with Sunnyside on a weekly basis and it's actually a good week to film because it's currently Monday morning and a week today I am launching my Christmas collection. So there's going to be lots of prep in this video. I think my Royal Mail business account will also be set up this week so lots going on in the world of Sunnyside. I hope you enjoyed enjoy it. If you've got a small business, I hope it's helpful in some way. If you've got a dog, I hope you enjoy the cuteness. But anyway, I'm going to crack on. I've got a few orders to pack. So let's go. I've just put the heater on because it is chilly out here today. But as you can see down here, this is a bag full of orders because I have actually managed to keep up with them over the weekend. I offered free shipping for the weekend, so it was quite busy. So I did keep on top of it yesterday, but I've still got the orders that came in Sunday night to pack. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I have got four to do so let's do them together. First things first is picking the orders out. I just use a little coffee table for this if it's not too busy but when I do a launch and there's a lot of orders I get one of my dad's big tables out but this is fine for now. How I love, how I love the city of my the burgundy love design honestly it's been flying out lately i think it's because the weather's changed it's quite a dark design it's a beautiful color as well and i've now launched burgundy love rope leads and they've definitely been the most popular color we've also got a little clementine rope lead and a couple of bow ties here i actually have eight different designs but burgundy love right now she's defo the showstopper it never gets me down city of mine how i love And the packing for the day is complete. Don't know where I'd be without this trusty Primark bag. Honestly, it's so handy for carrying to the post office. So this is all the orders from Saturday afternoon and Sunday. Annoyingly, even though I've been launched seven weeks, I still have to take the parcels to the post office and they have to scan them individually. I phoned Royal Mail before I launched and said, right, I want to set up a business account because basically if you've got a business account, you can just put them all in Royal Mail's grey sacks and it's kind of like delivered to their headquarters as one big package if you know what I mean so all your orders are together you just take a barcode to the post office they scan it and that's the whole bag done and then you just drop the bag there and go but to have a Royal Mail business account you have to be sending I think it's 20 parcels a week and obviously when I phoned I hadn't launched yet and I said to them what if my launch is really busy and I've got like 100 orders which I did and they were like oh sorry you've got to already be sending 20 parcels to set it up so about a month went by I was still finding my feet to be honest, the business account was at the back of my mind because everything else was hectic. Then I started to inquire about the business account and here we are, another three weeks since then and it's only just getting sorted today. I actually got an email this morning about my login details. So I'm hoping that's going to be up and running by the end of this week because then for the Christmas launch next week, I can just take the grey bags to the post office rather than individual parcels. Sorry if that was really boring to listen to. That'll make sense if you've got a small business. We're getting there. We are getting there. So you will have seen when I was packing just now, but I have a few different sizes of boxes. I actually have five sizes of boxes now. One of them was an accident, but actually quite handy. So this is my packing area. The boxes are looking a bit sparse. I need to get making some more this week. There's usually a couple more sizes up here, but I also have all the stickers for my packaging on this shelf. So this sticker goes inside the boxes to hold the tissue paper together. I designed all of these before I launched, by the way. A lot of Googling was done about Photoshop. And then on the outside of the packages, we've got a little yay, it's arrived. And the box is also secured with a sunny side sticker. This is the large letter size. These are the small parcel size. And this 
this size are for the tiny boxes. They're so cute. But this week I want to make some Christmas versions of these stickers to use during November and December, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to have all the same info. I'm just going to make them red, Christmassy, have some little Christmas graphics on. And I'm also going to make a Christmas postcard because in every order I include one of these cute quote cards. And the idea is that the customer can keep these and they can either like frame them or put them up. And on the back is the care instructions of how to look after the accessories. So I'm going to make a Christmas version of those too and send those off to be printed. I need to do that early this week actually, otherwise it won't be done in time. I need some more of these tubs too, so I need to order those today because the Christmas stickers are going to go down here in this section. These are from Chickadee, I'd really recommend them. They're quite expensive but they've been so handy. I'm going to be honest, I was in two minds about doing a Christmas collection because I am a very new business and it's not cheap to invest in each design which is fine for my eight existing designs because I'd say two of them are very autumnal the spotty hedge dogs and the porphy cup but other than that they can be worn all year round and sold all year round whereas with Christmas I'm launching the Christmas collection on the 1st of November and you've only really got two months to sell it which sounds like a long time but when you're a new business like you just don't know about these things but I did decide to go for the Christmas collection I thought I'd risk it for a chocolate biscuit. I might regret it, who knows? This is what the design looks like. I'm obsessed with it, I love it so much. I bought Sunny a Christmas harness last year and she wore it for the whole month of December, if not before. So I'm hoping that there is gonna be the target market out there that will buy a very Christmassy harness for their dog. Here's a close up. It's got gingerbread men, reindeers, candy canes, stockings. The inside of it is red mesh. Oh, I love it so much, it's so cute. I went for the base as well because I thought that was quite unusual so not only do I have harnesses I also have obviously collars so sweet look at the tiny candy canes bow ties so the doggies can have a little Christmas collar and bow tie I actually put the bow ties on the back of the harnesses for Sunny though because it makes them super girly we've got the matching leads so this is actually new for this Christmas collection but from now on all my leads are adjustable in length which I'm really pleased about because it means that if you've got a really tall dog you can make it shorter if you've got a tiny dog you can make it longer or like if you're walking down the side of the road you can make it shorter in a field it could be longer so great for safety and for different sizes of dogs. So one side is the Christmas design and the other side is plain red. It's a really Christmassy red. Look how beautiful that is. The inside of the handle is padded red neoprene. We've got my little logo up here. Obviously the D ring for the poo bag holders. These come with a roll of poo bags in them and you just clip it on, grab your lead and you've got poo bags with you all the time. Or I've got a rope lead in Christmas red. It's so festive. I already sell the Burgundy Love rope lead which has been really popular but this is like vibrant red. Imagine this with a little black dog. Oh my god, so cute. The thread is slightly metallic. It's a little bit of a darker shade of red. We've got the white detailing that gives me candy cane vibes. It's all about the detail. We've got the little sunny side co branded tag on there. You can clip your poo bags to this as well like so lovely jubbly so these are the products that are launching on monday this week i need to take the product photos i need to send out my brand rep parcels because i have seven different dog accounts who represent my brand i send them the new collections they take lovely pictures of their dogs in them for me and then obviously i can use that content this is my little photo box where i take my product photos it's still up because i've only just launched the rope leads i'll show you when i actually use this but i'd really recommend one of these if you've got a small business it's so handy the ceo has another little secret product you may see these are still being produced so they're not going to launch in a week's time but matching christmas blankets my heart is so full i'm so sorry oh i feel so mean this is the first time i've done blankets but they're the matching Christmas design. They have a minky dot back. This is so soft, I cannot even explain it. I think these are gonna be launching hopefully middle of November, it might be the end of November. Just depends with shipping times and stuff. And obviously they're still being produced at the moment. So only some of them exist in the world right now. They've got my logo down in the corner and the size of these is 70 by 100 centimeters. Oh my God, it's so cozy. It's not big enough to be a human blanket, maybe a baby blanket, but it's definitely big enough to be a dog blanket. This is actually the sample that I've got here and I ordered the sample with the red minky dot but also let me zoom you in so I haven't got to take this one off her as well oh you're having a stretch oh thank you that's actually very handy 
Um, but I also ordered this one with the wine colour minky dot just because I wasn't sure. Judging by the pictures of supplier sent, I couldn't really tell what matched best, but it's definitely the red. This one gives me all the Christmas vibes, so I have decided to go for this. But Sunny can have this sample out here. It's cosy. I still like this wine colour, but it just doesn't feel as Christmassy as the red. I had a little bit of an oopsie last week, right? So I was ordering more boxes for my packaging. This was the size I'd run out of, okay? And I thought I was ordering the same size. And then these arrived significantly smaller. Luckily though, these do fit the rope leads in really well and they arrived just before the launch. So it wasn't too bad, but I still need more of these. So I'm about to order them right now. I order my boxes on eBay. I found that's the best price for them. If you're a small business, don't buy them on Amazon. They're so expensive eBay is definitely the one. They're from a brand called Meg4 Tech. They do loads of different sizes. These ones are 10 by 7 by 3 inches instead of 7 by 5 by 2. I don't know how I got that wrong, honestly. I've just tidied my shelves a bit and had a little rejig. Making some more boxes is definitely on the agenda this week. I might even do it this evening. But yeah, now you can see all the different sizes of boxes I have. Up here, I did have my faulty section, but I've moved that down here because I'm not gonna lie and pretend that every product is perfect like there is occasionally one that I just wouldn't sell like this for example as you can see the print is wonky so I just wouldn't sell that if it's not perfect it's not going to a customer another one is like this pink lead you can see the cable knit isn't in the middle I don't know why that happened because none of the other leads are like that um but again wouldn't sell that so anything that's a little bit defected just goes down there now my next job of the day is to put together the brand rep parcels and then work out my new quantities of the stock I've got when the Christmas stock arrived I wrote down on this bit of paper how many of each size I had for each item but obviously once the brand rep parcels go out that will change. I've got a document in my notes with all of my brand reps details like their addresses, their dog sizes, if the sizes change at all like obviously some of the dogs are still growing. If you decide to order as well make sure you have a look on the Sunnyside Instagram there's a highlight called our rep there it is on the right if you click on that you can see one how cute all our brand reps are but two each one has a discount code look at Arlo and Huxley oh my god they're so cute and it's got their Instagrams as well so you can go over and follow them but these are the little doggies that I'm about to do the packages for obviously these aren't like fully packed up yet they will look much nicer than this I'm also going to send them all a little Christmas card inside I did want to get some with dogs on because I thought that was more appropriate but I couldn't find any so never mind and I've also got got them some little toys i went into pets at home because they've got the um christmas pet selection in now so for the people with two dogs which are these three they're going to get one of these for each dog and then for the people with one dog they can have one each but how sweet are they little christmas presents for the doggies my brand reps are all incredible so they deserve it and i want to do something a little extra for them and the last thing to go in the rep parcels i did this on my first launch and it went down so well so for the christmas launch the first 100 orders are going to get a free bag of candy kittens. So of course my reps get one of these too. Look at these bad boys. Eaton mess. The best flavour. I have 108 bags of these in this box. <laughs> oh. Okay, I've just got back from taking the orders to the post office and I've also written the Christmas cards for the brand reps. So I'm now going to package these up and I'll take them to the post office later on today because there are two collections at my local post office which is so handy. One in the morning, one in the afternoon. Da -da -da -da. I've only gone and found Christmas tissue paper. Christmas has begun. It will always be Christmas in my heart. I'm going to need some bigger boxes for these brand rep parcels because as you can see they're overflowing. These are the brand reps with two dogs so obviously two harnesses, two leads, two collars etc etc. And I just thought I would show you, this is my stock right, I've just pulled a couple of the um, rows out because between my rows of stock is where I keep all my boxes. <laughs> I actually thought this was genius not gonna lie because obviously where the boxes stack up they kind of go like an incline, they keep going backwards. So they meet at the top, but at the bottom, loads of space to keep packaging boxes. So that's where I keep them all. Down this end are the bigger boxes and then they get smaller and smaller. Um, so I need to get in here to get these big boxes out. They're in this box. Welcome to my stock room. <laughs> here I am in amongst an array 
of dog harnesses, collars, leads. But I do actually really like this system, it really works and I wouldn't have anywhere else to keep these boxes if it wasn't for my good old trusty tubs. These are from a website called Big Dug. They are 50 litres. They work out to about £10 per tub, I think, so they are expensive. I don't even want to think about how many I've got, but they're an absolute necessity. And even if like this business evolves and I move into a unit one day, I can just keep buying these. I love that you can move them around. You can have as many or as little as you want and you haven't got to commit to like structured shelves, if that makes sense. So yeah, I would recommend them actually. A little bit pricey, but 100% worth it. Anyway, let's get these big cardboard boxes out. Hello. I'm sorry. But how cute does this look? It's now the evening. I'm looking a bit worse for wear. I'm a bit on edge because a firework just went off and I know Sunny's in the house with my mum and dad and she'll be scared. I've just posted on Instagram a sneak peek of the Christmas collection. So I posted this photo, just a little snippet, you know? And the feedback already is really good. There's quite a lot of comments already of people being really excited, saying that's so cute, OMG, OMG. I'm as excited for the Christmas launch as I was for my very first launch. And that level was like up here. I'm now I'm going to schedule a few posts for throughout the week because I forgot to do this last week and I felt like I was really slacking on the Sunnyside Instagram. I try and space out the designs of the harnesses through my Sunnyside feed. I try and post a variety of breeds as well so I'm going to schedule a few posts as my next job of the day and then I'm going to get building some boxes which I actually really enjoy doing. Oh my gosh these fireworks. I'm going to go in and see if Sunny's alright first of all. We don't make a big deal though. We kind of pretend like nothing's happening. I want you to know we can make it together Let the wind blow All we need is each other Come take my hand You're all that I have Now I won't let you go Cause I found all the answers in you Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good morning everyone Oh, little Sunny, you're so sweet. I'm not going to film my face today because I'm looking a hot mess and I've got hair mask in, but my next job for Sunnyside is to take pictures of the Christmas stock. So that's what we're about to do. Got my hefty big girl camera here. And I'll quickly show you the photo box that I mentioned briefly earlier. So here's a little close-up of it. It's like silver on the inside and reflective. It came with a few different colours of backdrop. I always use the white one though because I think it looks the sleekest on the website. And then up here, it's got two LED panels that you can move around. This is what they look like on the other side. So you can just place them wherever you need it. You can tilt them as well, put them wherever you want. You could also put them on the side this way. It does have a cover that comes over so the whole box can be fully enclosed and then it's got one hole on the top for one camera or three holes to put your camera in at different angles. But I use it open like this. If I switch the light on, there we go. And then I take my pictures from this angle. It's so handy and I can't remember what size I've got but I'll I'll link it in the description down below. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. So, oh. cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make. This is perfect timing actually. So I've just finished shooting the product pictures for the website and I ordered these on Amazon for a little um, like Instagram picture because I want to post a picture of the set but I want it to look nicer than just a plain white background. They're actually tree decorations. They're silicone though, which is weird. I wasn't expecting them to be, but quite handy for pictures. So they can be in the picture because they match the harness. And I got this blanket, but someone's taken a bit of a liking to it. You almost blend in with that, Sunny. But I got this on Amazon as well for a nice wintry background for the harness pictures. I'm so sorry, little bear, but I'm going to have to take this off you. Look at these these wintry vibes right now. I'm so here for it. Isn't this literally adorable? Oh, my sweet baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part. Wanted to give up because nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colours in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make Me 
again. I've just got back from the dog walk, so I'm looking a bit rough and I'm printing some orders currently, but I have officially, hang on. Let me wait for the printer to be done. There we go. So I've officially finished designing the Christmas packaging. Very exciting stuff. And I'm really lucky because my dad is actually a printer. He owns a print company. So whenever I need stickers, I always ask for like a sample first, just to check that I've done them the right size and everything. You know, I'm no professional. So they've printed the samples and I've got them in front of me here. I really, really like them. I've just got to check they all fit my boxes right. Then I'm going to ring my dad and say, yeah, fine to go ahead and print the full thing. So one of the stickers is actually missing from here but for now this is what we're working with so this is my usual packaging pale pink matches my branding these are the stickers that go on the boxes the walkies goes inside the box to secure the tissue paper but the christmas version i'm obsessed how cute i'm actually so pleased with how these have turned out i love the little ribbon detail so it looks like a little present got my little christmas graphics still in my pale pink to match the branding a little bit didn't want to stray too far you know and instead of thank you for supporting my small business we've got happy Paula days no i didn't buy the dog another present this one is from Santa Paws. And then we've got Merry Wolfmas, pup presents inside, and let the winter walkies begin. And then just a very quick example, excuse how roughly I've cut round this, and I've just sellotaped it onto test sticks, I don't want to ruin the box, but this is what it looks like when it's finished. I think they look so cute. It's a really nice red as well. The camera's not really doing it justice, but it's a little bit of a pinky red, but it still feels super Christmassy. Blimmin' Nora! So, you know how I mentioned about a Royal Mail business account being set up this week? It happened yesterday. So today was my first day of using the business account. Basically, at the end of the day, it's now half past three and I've just got back from the post office. I wanted to go a bit early so there wasn't a queue and I could ask questions. But at the end of the day, you basically print a barcode. It's called a manifest. You put all your parcels into your grey Royal Mail bags. Hang on, Sunny wants to join us. We'll have a little cuddle. I love you. Yeah, so you put all your parcels in your grey royal mail bags, they scan the barcode and you attach it to the bag. That's it. So you just drop off the bags. And it was much quicker. I've spent a lot of the day trying to figure it out, like figuring out the manifest. And royal mail just don't tell you anything when you get to this point, by the way. You just have to figure it out and ask other people. I wish I could sit here, but I've got more to do. I'm just taking some more product photos for Instagram. But how cute do the poo bags look in this fluffy blanket? This is like one of the best things I've bought for product photos. Furry, wintry, icy vibes. Raise your hand if you just had an exciting business delivery. My Christmas quote cards just arrived. Stop it right now. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is barking loud for all to hear. Don't tell Sunny that though because we're not like the loud barking. <laughs> and in case you didn't know and you've got a quote card from us, the washing instructions are on the back. How handy is that? Call me Mrs Hinch. I've put my existing postcards in a little box together over here and just separated them with some cardboard separators. Nothing like a bit of DIY, but I've now got a whole spare crate for the Christmas ones. I am so ridiculously excited about doing this. I just love Christmas so much, and I feel like this is the beginning of the Christmas packaging and the Christmas orders. Da -da -da -da. How shall I put them, like that? Maybe these ones need to go this way. Anyone who places a sunny side order in the months of November and December will get one of these cards. You're welcome, you can keep it. You can put it in a little frame if you want. Put it in your downstairs toilet or something. Give your guests a little giggle while they wee. <laughs> I've ordered a thousand of these and I think that may be a tad excessive. I mean, hopefully not. A thousand orders would be great. So, my loves, that brings us to the end of my very first studio vlog. I actually really, really enjoyed filming this. It was nice for a change because I feel like you guys don't get to see a lot of what actually goes into running Sunnyside. Fingers crossed for the Christmas launch tomorrow. I've had a lot of good feedback on Instagram, so I'm hoping it's going to be busy, but I'm not setting my expectations too high, you know? If you'd like me to film another studio vlog, I'm more than happy to do so. From next week, I'm going to be working on more of my new designs for the first collection of 2022 so if you want to see kind of like what goes into my design process how i come up with ideas what i tell my graphic designer alice to do let me know because i'm happy to do that and i'm happy to film more of like the day-to-day -day running of sunnyside rather than prep for a launch whatever you want is fine with me do subscribe to see my future videos and don't forget to let me know in the comments down below if you do want another studio vlog but for now thanks for watching i hope you're having a lovely sunday and i'll see you again very very soon with another little video bye guys Guys, love ya!